Hey Sporklers, today we're going to go over how to make a crossword puzzle using the new grid type option on Sporkle. Now before we get started, make sure you've already familiarized yourself with the Sporkle editing tools by watching one of our other helpful tutorials. We'll get started by creating a quiz. We'll click here on create quiz and we'll give it a title. So basic crossword puzzle. And under quiz type, we'll choose grid. Note that when you choose grid as the type, you have to enter in your dimensions. For today's exercise, we'll make a five by five puzzle. Here we're at the game info tab. You should already be familiar with this from our other tutorials. So here we're just gonna fill in some basic information. We'll give it a timer of five minutes and we'll go ahead and choose the category as miscellaneous and we'll save changes. Next, we'll click on the Data tab. The Data tab here is unlike any other Data tab we have on Sporkle. Note that since you've entered in a 5x5 grid, you have a 5x5 grid option here. There's a lot of tools up here that we won't get into right now. We'll save those for a more advanced tutorial a little bit later on. What we'll be working through today are the Text tool and the Toggle tool. So first, we'll start with the Text tool. The Text tool is just that. It allows you to enter text. The text you enter here will be the answers that the users will guess as they're playing your crossword. For today, I've put together a handful of three to five letter words that we'll use for our crossword, starting with Hulk. Next, we'll go with IED. We'll go down here for Gamma, Soapy, and working our way down, we'll go with Hugs, uh, AOL, Kemp, and Deo. Now, you might notice that we have a few gaps in our quiz. What we want to do is use the toggle tool. The toggle tool will fill in these gaps for us and make it so that when the user's playing this quiz, these are not editable or a place that you'll be able to enter in data. Once you have your grid all set up, your next step is to click the Generate Crossword button. This goes ahead and gives you areas where you can enter hints that correspond to the answers you want users to guess. So for example, for Hulk, you want Bruce Banner's alter ego. For IED, you might say roadside bomb. And so on and so forth. We'll go ahead and fill in these hints using the magic of editing. Now that we've entered in our across hints, we can go ahead and enter in the down hints as well. Once your grid's set up and you're happy with your hints, just like any Sporkle quiz, you can go ahead and test this quiz by clicking on the Test Quiz button up above. Once you feel that your quiz is good and ready to play, click on the Finish Up tab and go ahead and launch that game. Once it's out in the wild, your quiz is here to be played. For a more carefree and leisurely experience, you can play Untimed. Untimed simply counts upward as opposed to counting down. And from here, you can enter in answers as you know them. So Bruce Banner's alter ego, well, that would be the Hulk. A roadside bomb would be an IED, and so on. That's all there is to it. As always, thanks for watching. We hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have suggestions for other tutorials you'd like to see, please leave them in the comments. And as always, go ahead and subscribe to this channel for more handy, helpful content. Thanks for watching, and happy sporkling.